I don't have my cheat sheet here, but nobody needs introduction to Professor Matteo Tretti Clementoni from Milano in Italy. Dr. Clementoni has a long history of use of the laser, um, is an expert, a guru internationally, and he's going to talk to us about another uh, non-laser device, another energy-based device, our Infini with which he's also one of the longest serving experts. But uh, he's now going to give us an update of his latest findings with how he's finding our infinite. Matteo, please. Thank you. So I start with the conclusion of my talk. It means that I really love the infinite device and my patient too. And uh, today, to arrive here with some data for you, uh, I will show you the, the, the results later on, but uh, in an economical point of view, if I calculate the number of procedures I did since the 1st of January 2017 till the end of March of this year, so three months procedures, I can pay the device. So it's very, very, uh, useful and is very, I use it a lot in my, in my office. My story with the electronic company and with the IFNI started four years ago. I have a, a real close friend of mine, is Gilly Monavalli from Charlotte, uh, North Carolina, and he said, Matteo, this is a great idea. May I introduce you to the company? And so uh, we were at the SLMS and uh, we did a, a meeting with the Lutronic people. And they started to speak with me to describe me why this device can be a new thing on the scenario of the laser field. And I said, wow, that is a great idea. That is a real good idea. Because at that time, I had two big problems in my own office. First, how can I treat patients during the summer season or when they are tanned? And the second problem I had, I'm a plastic surgeon, but I still have, not now with the device, but at that time I had a problem, neck and one, lower one third of the face. Are there any laser really effective on these two anatomical regions? I don't think so. So I needed something to be able to treat patients during summer and uh, uh, a device able uh, to give me, allowing me, very good results on the neck and on the uh, lower part of the face. But it's a completely different concept. All lasers are something working outside and this are, is a device working inside out. And this is why we are protecting the DE junction and so this is why we do not have any kind of PIH problems after uh, the procedures. Probably now, after four years, all of you knows what I'm speaking about, so I will not go very, I will go very quickly on describing you. The secret of the device, in my opinion, is that we have insulated needle with very sharp tip. The energy passes from the tip of one needle to the tip of the second one, and when the energy is passing through tissue, they are finding some resistance, and that means we are damaging the tissue exactly at the depth the operator decided before. Imagine a thing like this. Do you think we have to use the same depth on a skin of a 70 years old lady as in a man, 30 years old man with acne scars? No, we have to change the depth where we want to work. So the operator can change the depth the tip of the needle is arriving, so, and we can decide the damage amount where we want to work. So, uh, this is the uh, beginning, what we did. We decided to do more than one pass 
in the same anatomical region. So delivering a highest amount of energy for a longer time when we were working very deep and uh, going superficially, we were reducing the amount of energy and the pulse duration. And look, the histologies, what we are able to create with this device. Look, intact skin, intact dermis between the surface and the damage over there. Which settings? Oh, Matteo, can you prepare for us the settings? Uh, yeah, I will try, I'm not so sure. At the beginning, before I was coming from the lasers, I said, oh guys, I want to create a great damage in the skin, high energy, long pulse duration. It makes sense. So I started to say, and I will show you my mistakes, because I think that after four years I can do that. So th that paper demonstrated that there are two very important settings, and I will show you what I did in the past. However, there are two important settings to choose. One is the penetration depth, and the other is the pulse duration. Energy is not so important. I have to uh, thank Rich Coin in front of all of you because it teach me a lot on what is happening inside tissue, modifying energy and pulse duration. Now I am a firm believer in pulse duration and not more on energy. However, this is my approach to the treatment. I say to my patient that I require at least three to five uh, procedure every month or every 40 days the patient will start to see something, to start to see outcomes when they are doing the second procedure. Um, I do not do procedure on patients with severe diseases or if they are taking anticoagulant drugs, and I ask them, please stop to take that for a few days, 48 hours before, do the procedure, and take it immediately after. This is how I do that practically. I apply an anesthetic cream, Without the anesthetic cream, you cannot do the procedure, okay? I apply a 7% lidocaine plus 7% tetrocaine uh, uh, anesthetic cream. And please read this paper. We have not to go over the skin thickness. We have to affect skin. We have to affect dermis. So we have not to choose the same depth in the different anatomical areas. The thickness of the skin in the cheek is completely different of the thickness of the skin of the eyelid or on the neck. There's no sense to reach 3.5 millimeters on the neck when this group of people published on PRS years ago the average thickness of the skin. We have, Rox Anderson is saying, we have to reach the deepest layer of the dermis, but we have not to reach the sub Q. I want to do that because I want to obtain results on the skin. So following that, I decided to do my own protocol, doing more than one pass, modifying the vectors. So the first was in this direction, the second was in this direction, and the third is equal to the first in this direction. So look here, maybe is much more clear. So one in this direction, this direction, and then as the first one. And these were my old settings. Did you obtain good results, Matteo? Yes, I did. But Rich Cohen demonstrated me histologically that I can obtain same results or probably better results not using so great energy level but modifying a lot the pulse duration. Now I'm using, and I will show you later, different settings. This is the advanced settings I'm using. This is the immediate results I have after the procedure, and these are some of my results. These uh, patients, unfortunately, he died five months ago, not for the infinite procedure, naturally. Uh, however, <clears throat> This is before and after. Naturally, we did, we did also some other procedure on his face to improve the skin quality. But look there. Maybe if you leave, that's in color. Look at the skin laxity over there and how we were able to improve that after three procedures. Same, same man on the other side. Look at the ptosis there and look at the improvement on the right side. And other patients, again, look at the skin. Those is over there, skin laxity, much better 
after the procedures, and also on the other side, same patients, left side, great improvement in my opinion. Another, probably these men deserve something else. He probably deserves a facelift, a surgical approach, but many of my patients are asking me, oh doctor, I don't want to see any scalpel. I want to do something else. So look at him before and after, and again, look at him before and after. This is a great skin laxity improvement, in my opinion. And then with Gilly, we said, guys, why not to try to publish something? Why not to do something? How can we try to objective our results on neck and uh, lower one third of the face? Is there a way we can demonstrate we had results? Because if I ask Glenn, Glenn, can you give me a number of improvement in a vast scale of this? Is 70%? Is 80%? Is, I don't know, Antonio, can you tell me the improvement? Oh, this is very difficult. We need numbers. So I will show you how we did. Uh, here is to demonstrate, the white line is to demonstrate that the, this picture is exactly at the, the same level as the death picture. Look at the external canthus. Um, red line is before and green is after. Okay, in a, in a pack we can see that we had the results. And also here, we can, if we do the same, white it is to demonstrate these two pictures are the same level, we can compare red with green and we can say, oh, good results here. And again, uh, another my uh, younger patients, look, red is before, green is after, and we had a good results also there. And my ex-nurse, uh, um, she went to the south part of Italy exactly because I did the infinite procedure. No. Okay, red is before, green is after, and again, look at the improvement we had on her neck. But guys, we need numbers. We ca I can show you tons of pictures like this, but we need numbers. We have to objectify, to objectify how we can improve the max. So red is before, green is after, what can we do? This is the mom of what all my colleague, look, great improvement. Sometimes we have unbelievable results uh, with this device, not always, but sometimes, yes. Well, uh, in uh, uh, July last year, finally, our papers appeared. Uh, the editor of Red Journal decided that that paper was not so bad because it was uh, decided it's editor choice. We did a great, very long, thank you again, because he, asked, he helped us to do that. We did some measurement. We put a point in the glabellar area of the patient, the pagonian, so we choose two angles to calculate the improvement, before and after, the neaton and the cervical mantle. And we compare that before and after. We calculate the, the improvement con using three different softwares to say, okay guys, can we have numbers? These are the numbers, and this is the average improvement in the cervical mental angle is around 20%, and the uh, average improvement in the neaton was around 15%. In my opinion, a very, very, very good results. This is the distribution to say these are real results because it's a Gaussian distribution. All of there are so very good results there, very bad results or minimal results there, and the average is in the middle. So very good results. With that settings, I want to show you what, is, what happened recently. Neutronic uh, didn't say, okay, now we have a good device, forget it. No, they continued to study about the device and they change it. Uh, they modify the uh, tip of the device to have a more uniform emission of the energy, to have a more uniform effect inside the skin, so you have a more uniform coagulation zones with a flat top energy, avoiding to have one pin, one point, with very, very high energy and the other with low amount of energy. That means different effect inside the dermis. And so to try to minimize that Gaussian effect in the delivery, in the energy delivery, and naturally they tried, okay, this device can be used also by beginners. Why not to start to use a very uh, simple uh, GUI. So therefore, I changed my settings. Because of which coin told me why more pulse duration than energy. And because they change, 
uh, the tip and a lot of things inside the device. This is the modification of the uh, tip shape. This is the old one, and this is the flat one, and this is the new G uh, GUI. You can choose, you know, location, neck, forehead. Is is you know, is for everybody. Okay, this is a very simple, uh, and this is the uh, uh, picture taken on the surface. Look, same amount of energy, and look the section, same amount of defect. This is absolutely equal to this, to this, and to this, and this is very important. So I changed my, my settings. These are my neck laxity settings, and the, at the moment, look, I reduce the energy, but I really prolong the pulse duration, and these are my settings for acne scars. Uh, you cannot take the picture because the company can give you, so take if you want, but it doesn't matter. The company can provide the, that to you. And, oh, why is, okay, is it working? Uh, uh, the PC is not so good. However, uh, why the 3D pictures? I do not know how we can use Photoshop in a 3D. Okay, so it's not possible to modify a 3D picture. So can you try to? No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, maybe we can. Is it rotating? Yeah. Okay. Look at the neck before and the neck after, okay? And this is the next patient. Look at the neck before, and look when he's rotating on the other side, look at the neck after, okay? And look at this neck before, and at that neck after, okay? Look at there. And another patient. I said, why not to use it for other indications? And you as guys told me, that their first preferred indication is acne scars. So I, I used to use a CO2 laser on acne scars, but now happened to me that a lot of dark skin patients came to my office, so why not to use the microneedling radio frequency? And so today I want to show you, this is another patient with severe acne scar. Look on the left side, and this is their left, the result after the uh, uh, six months after last procedure, four procedures, one month interval. And look at this guy. This is probably the perfect indication for this device. Dark skin patients, probably the CO2 can be used only reducing a lot the energy, so we cannot be very effective of him. Look at the skin quality after the procedure. I think he improved a lot. And this is my last one. Look at the um, acne scars before and after the procedure. So now I'm using the Anthony device for acne scars and naturally laxity of the lower one third of the face and the neck. So at the beginning in 2013 I said oh this is a promising device and the promising technology. In 2015 finally we have a device that really allow us to obtain very good outcome. And in 2017, I have to say the same thing. Now, I have a very good device in my office. And in an economical point of view, it's not so bad. Thanks so much. <laughs> Question? Yes, please. Where do you come from? Oh, just around the corner. When you changed to the um, new settings, did you see prolonged downtime, or is the downtime the same? No, I saw probably shorter downtime than before. With very high energy, you are creating dislocation of dermis. That's why you cannot transmit very well the energy, and that means the temperature. So what I'm saying now that my downtime at the moment is around uh, two to four days. Thank you. Uh, yes, please, decide you who will. Oh, may I Thank you, okay. But a very, very short comment. You talk to uh, us about the energy. The lever in Infini 
is the, not the energy, it's the power. Energy yeah. is a level multiplied by the time. And if you are using lower level and the longer time, your energy is the same or bigger. Yeah, the, the, you know, I'm a practical man, I'm a surgeon, so I'm speaking energy because they are they're putting the numbers. So uh, what I want to, up to, what you have to understand is that pulse duration is the diameter of the bulla of the defect we are creating inside the dermis. Never use 500 milliseconds as pulse duration if you're using one millimeter's penetration. You are damaging the surface because the heat can come from the deep layers to the surface. You are allowed to use 500 milliseconds as pulse duration if you are using three millimeters penetration, 2.5 millimeters penetration. So when you do the first pass, you can use three, four, five as, ener as not energy, sorry, three, four, five level and long pulse duration. When you are coming to the surface, please reduce the pulse duration. Otherwise, you can damage the DE. Sir. Okay. I have a question also about the, its uh, device to create volume. But you always, you, you explain already, when you are working in the deep, like three and a half millimeter, you put your pulse duration 700, 800, 900 mm, milliseconds? May, maybe not too much. Huh? To, to have a, no. a real I, volume. My maximum, my, uh, I use 3.5 millimeters penetration. And a yeah. uh, young guy with acne scar, that means very thick scan. Yeah. And I use maximum 550. But usually I use 500 milliseconds. And then okay. if you go ask the company to give you the, the, the settings, when I'm coming to the surface, I'm reducing to 400 and 360. But if I'm treating a lady with a very thin skin, mm -hmm. first, I don't use three millimeters penetration. And because I'm not using three millimeters and then using mm -hmm. maybe two millimeters penetration, mm -hmm. I have to reduce pulse duration. Okay. So adjust settings on the feature of the, each single patient. Okay, okay. Thank you, Doc. Uh, come on, one more. <laughs> oh, yeah. Two more, that's good. The lady first, naturally, I'm Italian. Thank you. Uh, I would like uh, to ask you about anesthetic cream. Do you think this is enough for the painful treatment, or can we use the injection block for the anesthesia? Uh, for my patients, okay. The Pain level on the neck with that anesthetic cream is zero. They can sleep. The most painful areas are the chin and the cheekbone because you have the bone over there. Uh, so there are two areas. We just said, madam, is a couple of shots. Here is eight shots or ten shots, no more. In my hands, anesthetic cream is absolutely enough. Uh, is a good anesthetic cream. And my patients are not accepting the nerve blocks or the injections. Uh, they are not uh, appreciating the procedure as a minimal invasive. If you are doing one, two, three injection for each side, they're not appreciating that as a non-invasive. So I absolutely prefer my anesthetic cream. It works very well. I have no problem. Thank you. I want to thank you for the lecture, it was really nice. And my question is, can you tell us some tips about uh, the post-procedure healing period? I apply an, uh, an antibiotic ointment on the skin immediately after, and I ask them to apply an antibiotic cream six hours later. That said, it was demonstrated that the whole hole are completely closed six to eight hours after, so there's no problem on that. They can apply makeup on. Sometimes I had some problems, sometimes, uh, you know, I, I did hundreds, I don't remember how many. Sometimes I had some pimples, so I have to change the cream they are applying. But instead of this, may I give you a couple of my trip and tricks? When you have to treat the chin and you have to treat the cheekbone, pinch the skin inside your fingers. So the patient will not appreciate the tip, the needles are arriving on the bone. So pinch the skin. When you are treating the jawline, don't do that directly. 
but with the other hand, stretch the skin up or down, so we are not affecting the jaw, the bone, but you are affecting soft tissues, okay? Always, please, stretch the skin. Uh, I say that God gave us two hands. Always use both, <laughs> okay? So if I have to treat a chick, with one hand, I stretch the skin. Stretching the skin, you make the skin thinner, okay? And the penetration of the needle is much better. So always stretch the skin with one hand, left or right, doesn't matter, and then do the procedure, okay? Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, no one at the beginning now, everybody. Thank you for the nice lecture. I got a question about your experience about uh, abdominal skin laxity uh, with the new tips. Second question, please. No, no, no it's just one. Uh, I tried at the beginning. Unfortunately, the second day I had the device in my office, I tried to treat uh, my assistant and I have a brown line there. I have a PIH. I think that in the off-face areas, uh, the risk of having PIH is uh, higher than on the face. I never use it on skin laxity except the face and the neck. So I do not have experience. I know that there are guys around the world having very good experience on the laxity on the, on the arm and someone on the, on the abdomen. But I do not have my own experience and I cannot answer you. Thank you very much. Do you treat the eyelids? No, I don't. I use fractional CO2 Why? on the eyelids and I, because the penetration, the thickness of the uh, skin of the eyelid is seven to 800 microns. So um, eventually you can do one pass at 0 0.5. I pre absolutely prefer to use a fractional CO2 over there. We have great contraction of the skin and why, why to use a microneedling over there? It means I have CO2, so I prefer to use fractional CO2. Sorry, your, it's your second question, it's her first question. <laughs> Mateo, uh, how many uh, shots uh, do, you have, uh, do you make uh, in the treatment, full face? I never calculate it, U madam. Usually, I, I never, I have to cover, One you know, I have to cover the full area of the cheek, so I never calculate the number, never, it doesn't matter for me. So I do three passes, yeah. as I told you. One direction, second direction, third direction. So I don't know, I never calculated. But the counter, uh, the device? I know, but it doesn't matter for me. Okay. Means, where's the problem? If you have a small face or if you have a, a large face, you have different numbers. It doesn't matter. And I mean, I, I, mean, I don't think that is important. One tip. One tip. Okay, that is another question. That's, I think that this is a real good question, yes. If you have a huge surface to treat, I think that after uh, you see it, I don't know the number, I don't know the number, but if you do the procedure, you, at the beginning you see the needle perfectly going inside the skin without any tension. At the end, after hundreds of shots, you can see the needle arriving on the skin and, I don't know the Bounce name in back. English, exactly. Bounce back. Bounce back. Change the tip. Yeah, that's true. And charge it to the patient, naturally. <laughs> uh, sir, doctor, uh, one question about Strie. Uh, good idea. Good idea. Yeah, I think. Uh, good idea. I think that that is a good idea. And what you? They, the company has to demonstrate that this procedure can produce elastin, hmm. elastic fibers, but that is a very good idea, I think. But what do you think about then a very long pulse duration, because you have to complete again the breakdown in the dermis? You know, stria are scars yeah. and they are atrophic usually. Yeah. So at the beginning I don't think to go very deep uh, compared to the, to the skin yeah. around. Uh, why, why means I, I don't think you have to use a very high, uh, very long pulse duration. Medium... With, ab with low energy. Uh, low energy no, and long uh, pulse duration. Means to remember. You, we should remain in the fractionated modality. We have to leave intact dermis between one damage and the second one. Really? The risk of increasing too much mm -hmm. the pulse duration is that the 
one bullet of damage is too close to the other, and you can have 100% damage ah, okay. in the dermis. Ah, yeah, yeah. I think it's too, it's too yeah, risky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you. Thank you. Question only from women now. <laughs> Not about the dinner. Come on, guys, one more. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that brings us to the end of the presentation. Can I ask you one more round of applause, please, for Dr. Clementoni and Dr. Sofani? Thank you very much.